Well, that's King Dad Mac. <laughs> Suck that, Jack. Hey. Uh, hey, fuck you, Jack. We got Jack, and Jack is getting screwed right now. Suck that, Jack. Hey. hey, fuck you, Jack. Why are you even here? Right there. Twist of fate. And uh, apparently he got knocked out because he had Pokemon. What do you guys think about that? Bullshit. It's BSN. Fuck you, Jack. Suck ass, Jack. Alright, twist of fate. And uh. Fuck you, Jack. So, what did you think of that match? I don't know. That was pretty lame, but you know, what can you say? It's Jack. Suck ass, Jack. What's up, YouTube? This is King Daddy D Mac coming at you with another live battle from the VGCs against Sarcast Jack, aka Twist of Fate, a good friend, and here we go. I start off with a lead Swampy, and he has oh Roserade, the absolute worst lead that you want to see when using a Swampy. I just have to hope he misses Sleep Powder. He doesn't, so. Blah. Go into Infernape, uh, just because I know I can probably take anything he does, but he goes for the likely Toxic Spikes. Just what I expected. I go for the Overheat, and I'll bring him down to his Sash, and here I expect him to go for a second layer of Spikes, but he has Sludge Bomb. Seriously now. Who carries Sludge Bomb? Anyway, that's really now screwed my ape. Um, a real important player on this team, and whatever. I go for the U-turn, but he unfortunately switches to his Swampy. Um, I'm then in my Scizor. I'm going to want to U-turn out, go into my Flygon. He gets up his South Rocks. U-turn out again. Oh my god, I'm getting so dizzy. I expected him to go for an Ice-type move, but unfortunately goes to the Earthquake. Does way too much on Scizor, and um, yeah. I'm now back in my Flygon. So here, I'm going to have to get out Rotom um, Ape, which would have been a huge, uh, hugely important poke right now. To take this guy down is gone. I go into my Swampy just to try and wake up, but he gets a special D-drop, so I'm going to have to switch and just two entry hazards kill off my Ape. Now here, I go into my Rachi. Call mine Rachi. I go for a Wish and... Um, on his switch, knowing that he would switch. Then I go into my Vaporeon, just fearing um, the uh, either Fire Blast and or Earthquake. He goes for the Draco Meteor, predicting the switch, so good job, buddy, but I'm healed back up now. He's not sure of the moves that I carry, so he's going to want to switch due to the possible Ice Beam, and um, yeah. Right here, I don't really know what I want to do about this Rotom. I don't really have that much great to uh, deal with him. And I'm trying to get to a good point to pass a wish, but unfortunately it's just not happening for me with this Toxic. And, um, yeah. Right here's probably when I should have switched, and I believe I do. I go into my Rachi now. I'm going to be able to take that Thunderbolt, and, uh, yeah, things are looking alright. He doesn't take it as well as I'd like, but whatever. I'm pretty sure he's going to switch, and right here I go for, I believe, another wish just to heal up. And, uh, yeah, things are looking good. Now, right here, I made a dumb play. I, for some reason, I was predicting him to be a tricker. But, unfortunately, ba-boom-boom, -boom, call mine. So, that was a dumb switch on my part. Now, I should have also paid better attention to his name because... What? Seriously, Grass Knot? And, yes, he is a Super Rachi. Should have paid attention to Superman name, but whatever. Now my Swampert's gone. No Stealth Rocks for the game. And yeah, things are looking really bad. Right here I go for the Earthquake not to overpredict. And thank God he does overpredict and stays in. At least Super Rachi is not as bulky as the other Cult Mine variants. Um, and yeah, he goes into his Ments, forcing me to switch since I'm choiced. I'm going to switch out right now into my Vaporeon, hoping that he, you know that I can survive that Draco Meteor, but uh, 
is not looking good. Right here, it takes me all the way down, and I die. At least he is down in the, um, yeah, special attack. So now I go into the Flygon, forcing him to switch. Go for the U-turn, again, predicting that. He goes into his Rosa Raid, just as Death Fodder. And, um, yeah, I am now back into my Scizor. And this was kind of sucked because now he brings in his Rotom, of course, walling me. I go into my Rachi, and, um, yeah, he goes for the Shadow Ball. So, th again, the Rachi is really probably the last thing I have to take out this Rotom if I have any chance of winning. I'm going to heal up right here and uh, go for that Wish. And, um, again, just kind of hoping that this Mens isn't going to be able to take me out. He predicts a switch, goes for the Draco Meteor. Um, either way, it does pretty sizable damage to me, at least uh, if he had the fire, it's not going to do as much anymore. Um, I go for the Psychic, knowing I'm going to get healed by the Wish. doesn't do quite as much as I want, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to take him out with another one. Um, so right here... He goes for the Roost, and shit, he's the variant that has the Roost. I wasn't sure, but uh, now I know these Psychics are just not going to do much. I'm going to have to start Calm Minding up and just hope that um, Earthquake isn't going to do a lot. As he goes for the Roost, I'm going to go right now for a Calm Mind. So that's good, and I'm hoping, and this is the hard part of live battles, you can't do damage calcs and shit like that while you're live. You know, we're just having a fun time talking and whatnot, so it's not quite as serious of a battle. But, um, yeah, he's got me between a rock and a hard place, because right now, I go for that Psychic, and it does not do as much as I would have liked. Um, I'm going to have to switch now, go into the Flygon, predicting another Earthquake. He goes for it. That's cool. I go for the U-turn, knowing that uh, we're pretty sure that it would take him out. Again, another situation when it would have been good if I had the uh, damage calcs. And uh, I'm just going to have to fodder out my Scizor, which blows. But I know that at least he'll die from Life Orb, so that's all right. He goes down. I know that that scissor is just kind of pointless. I just haven't seen this poke, which is what just made me fucking facepalm FML. I'm going to go for the U-turn, but I know he has now this and the Rotom left. Um, again, U-turn out, and uh, he is going to go for the crunch, which really sucks. He's um, assuming he's scarfed. Um, which I'm not positive of yet, but yeah, that's going to show that right there. He is scarfed, being faster, so this is just horrible. I'm going to have to hope that I can take him out with one Outrage and then maybe get a crit on the Rotom, but let's see, let's see, and he freaking lives. I think he had like 8 HP, so yeah. Once again, FML. Good game, Jack. It was a pleasure playing you. I had a lot of fun. Um, hope that we can get a rematch at some point. And uh, guys, go check him out. Sarcast Jack. He is a really cool guy. Really nice guy. Great friend. Go check him out. Sub his channel. Comment, rate, subscribe, people. And stay tuned for the next King Daddy DMAC live battles. Peace out.